Welterweight bout here. Takashi Sato coming in at minus 110. Themba Garimbo plus 110 for him. Over under two and a half rounds. Plus 140 for the over. Minus 140 for the under. Themba Garimbo uh, coming in here off of a loss in his debut. And I got to say, the uh, he's he looked so much bigger than AJ Fletcher. And then I don't know how to like judge that fight, especially coming in here against Takashi Sato, who's like fights are kind of tough to judge too, because his losses in the UFC are to like pretty solid competition. Law Muhammad, Miguel Baeza, Gunnar Nelson, Brian Battle, but then his wins are to Jason Witt and Ben Saunders. So this is a tough one to to judge. And like at a pick them, I'm basically I think it's fair, pretty fairly priced. Um, Takashi Sato does follow me on Instagram. So I'm going to side with Takashi Sato in this one, but I think it's basically a coin flip and Themba he's, he's a pretty sizable, uh, welterweight and his, his reach 77 inches. He's going to have a, a reach advantage against a lot of welterweights. Um, if he does go to, to take down Takashi Sato, he could have some success there, but if it's a standing affair, I think Sato is going to be a little bit more crisp if he can find the range. He should have some some uh, success. Garimbo not as technical with the striking. In all reality, I think he probably looks to take him down. Uh, so Sato can can stuff that. He's been uh, been in there against Gunnar Nelson, right. uh, Law Muhammad. So he's been in there against some good guys. Then Garimbo might not be as technical with the takedowns or anything. So I'll go with Sato, but I mean. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a toss up fight, and I think it's pretty solidly priced. What do you think? Yeah, it's like another one of those fights that you haven't really seen a lot out of Thimba Grimbo to be confident in taking him, even against a guy like Takashi Sato, who's won two fights in the UFC and lost four, and been finished in almost all of his losses. He lost by decision to Gunnar Nelson, but I mean, props to him for fending off the submissions of Gunnar Nelson for three rounds because. You know, a lot of guys can't. Brian Barberina just got subbed by him, and, and Gunnar Nelson finds a lot of subs. So that should give you, like, a little bit of hope, I guess, if, if this fight hits the ground, that um, he went from getting subbed by Bilal Muhammad and subbed by Miguel Baeza and then worked on his sub defense enough to survive against Gunnar, Gunny Nelson. So um, coming off a bad knockout loss to Brian Battle, though, you imagine he'd be somewhat gun-shy, but against Thimba, I mean, hasn't really shown us at this level that he's some crazy striker, holds a bunch of power or anything. I do worry about Sato getting subbed here a little bit just because uh, Thimba Garimbo's length and, and size and trying to snatch something up. Um, but at the end of the day, you just haven't seen enough of him at this level. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i go against you again. I'll go Thimba Garimbo, and uh, I'm going to call it by Dar's Choke. He's going to use the, the, the length of those limbs to, to sink something in tight. You think uh, Themba can submit him if, if Gunnar Nelson can't? I mean, I think Miguel Baez's only submission in the UFC is against Takashi <laughs> Sato. <laughs> yeah, that's that just makes no sense. Like, he gets submitted by Bala Muhammad, gets submitted by Baez, and then Gunnar Nelson <laughs> wins by But him. sometimes Gunnar Nelson will just, like, get your back and just rain down shots for, like, a whole round. Yeah. Like, weird, like, shots, like, from the side and just kind of, like, it's almost like he separates his upper half of body from guys when he's got the back position just rained rains down punches so um who knows yeah it, it's just a tough call it's kind of a i don't know start the fight off with a with this fight i mean Thimba garimbo you look at him and you're like man this guy's got some length he's got some size maybe he's got some great kicks and striking but you just haven't seen enough of him yeah so yeah i mean that aj fletcher fight he got caught in that guillotine that thing was tight and fletcher you know used that strength to squeeze us all he could and, and got him out of there but um, man, it's just hard to be confident in a guy like Sato, too. So, yeah, yeah I'll go Thimba. I'll go Thimba here by sub. 